Because I know get money. Because I know get money. I need money. I want money. And I gotta get money. I gotta get a door. My no, my bro, my My no, my no la. Any money where I get like this. Any little change. Na enjoyment. No worry about my future. My future no they go anywhere. I go to think about my future next year. Any little money or little change. Na enjoyment. Na bad with a flanger. No. Please continue, Con continue. I love it. That's why I'm on this app. That's what I'm here for. Consistency. Let me go there and know. Continue, baby girl. I love it. Hey. My name is Asitonka Agri Abba, and channel is called Acid Darling because I'm such a darling. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, Asi Darlene. Thank you guys so much for clicking once again. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. And to all my OGs, you're the gang. Comment down below. Let me know, gang, gang. It is a rainy day here in the city of Port Harcourt. This is Tuesday. I'm rushing to do this video so it can go up today. By the grace of God. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed our past videos, our series. As usual, I'm bringing you poor gist. What you saw on that title, on that thumbnail is real. Ladies and gentlemen, men and brethren. Hey! Hey! First, uh, let's react to the other one. The first clip about the bridesmaid collapsing okay so for that one eh, me i was quite shocked because nobody moved like i know about like this shock maybe the bride was quite shocked too um she didn't quickly maybe you know it's not everybody that has quick reflex but i feel like the girl just collapsed and it took longer than it should for somebody to rush her so hope maybe i don't know if she's one of those who that gets drunk easily and people are like okay she has come again or your bridesmaid is literally fainting and you cannot be bothered which will be weird and you know another thing i've told people before i've showed people a clip about where bridesmaids um and groomsmen were basically standing and it was raining and i don't think whether the bride or the event planner or nobody thought it wise for them to hold off on the ceremony for them um for the bridal party to get shade i feel like the kind of sacrifice sometimes I know that there are bridesmaids that are nuts, but if you're a bride and someone is making the sacrifice to come for your wedding, I think treating them well or treating them with care goes a long way. Personally, I feel like this is just home training. You have to treat people nicely. If somebody like your bridesmaid, somebody that you thought was close enough to you, faints. What if her head hits that iron or something? Like for me, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Someone had to run from the back to get the um, lady Fam. when i saw that clip i don't know if i was just sad because i feel like um it's a, it's it, i don't know i'm looking at it from the eye of being a bridesmaid like if i if i made all that sacrifice my time my effort my energy buying your dress going for fitting being there for you showing up for your wedding and probably because of heat sometimes because of hunger let me tell you most of your bridesmaids make make time this one people are saying photographer will not eat photographer will not eat do you know that there are some people that don't even make out provision for their bridesmaids to eat before leaving the hotel they have to eat and you bridesmaid sometimes it's not even enough to wait for them to make provision the least chicken republic or packed food because you know the bride might be overwhelmed that day that morning you see bridesmaids when they come back from church and it's like they went to the mountain to fast they are so hungry they are so tasty they want something that's what i was teaching you guys in one of my videos i said okay at that point for those that even attend my master classes i said make sure that there's somebody that's taking small chops or drinks to the bridesmaid just so that they can have some not when they will not eat you want them to dance in and be shining teeth they should have something you know okay, so something happened recently don't worry i'll get to the video I i'll not be us again something happened recently and a couple of people have been tagging me and that's why i have to react to it so it's not like i i saw your tags i didn't react to it so one of our uh, wedding gown vendor her name is vivinoli she showed a, a dress i think i'm going to attach um the clip
just what I have been telling you people about fireworks. I don't know how the fireworks vendor did it. I don't know how they arranged it that it was bunny. It burns through the bride's dress. So it then means it was under her dress. That is risky. You know, when I first said fireworks would be under somebody, people thought like, oh my God, that is taking me too far. That kind of thing cannot happen. But these are evidences. I've done several videos about how you should be careful of fireworks. That's why people tag me on these things because I have been begging. Please, that thing burns. Hope nothing happened to the bride, seriously. Now let's get to the review. Real um, topic. our vendor revelation that's how one vendor was just in that uh, she went to do job oh. somebody's father wanted to sexually harass her or something like that basically he was touching her inappropriately and when she made a force out of it he kind of he slapped her so everybody was like oh the narrative is that she insulted him whereas nobody cared to find out what actually happened i'm like eh ha huh? not even the CEO. So first of all, makeup artists and hairstylists and all of that, when you're going to people's house, be very careful. Try to even carry somebody, do you understand? Because when this story goes out, nobody's going to hear your side. Hmm. Nobody will hear your side, especially because in this particular case, the guy is rich and powerful and all of that. So please carry somebody. Try as much as possible to tell people where you're going to. You know, a lot of things have been happening to makeup artists of late and that's why we tell them to be careful. But now back to this planner story. Let me tell you some specific things. As a planner, if you're upcoming or you're somebody that you're, 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 you've been in the business, let's talk. The first thing I teach my, my students is stop calling people's husband, dear. Stop it. If you're planning somebody's wedding, I do not care. That the person's husband, the groom, is not your dear. Thank you, dear. Don't ever try that thing. It's not, it's not professional. Don't do that. If you want to say dear, refer to the bride alone. If at all you should call the groom, there's no... Why are you calling the groom by 10 p.m.? Why are you calling him by 11.30? You don't, like... I don't understand why. Okay, please, if you're a planner, write... Um, let me know in the comment section below why. Why will you be laughing and touching somebody's husband? Point number two. Keep your hands away from people's husbands. I know that, oh, you're a touchy-feely person. Do not do that. It's disrespectful. Do not do, especially those of you that are single. Do not, don't allow somebody to come and um, bring down your years of work simply because of some little mistakes here and there. Don't touch anybody's husband. Keep your hands to yourself. I, I'm not saying that you're doing it. I'm only saying that there are different lines we should not even cross. We should not even imagine to cross. Then single, single planners, another thing. Be careful of meetups. Sometimes these people actually make the advances. Like people that are just wanting to marry somebody, you don't know that your husband is a is a flat, is a cheat, is everything, is everything. Be careful if the groom just wants to meet you by 10:30 in so so lounge, a dark corner, and all of that. What are people discussing about the wedding at that kind of time? No, discuss during the day. You discuss or anything. You should put it on WhatsApp so that you have evidence. There's no point going for all those meetings, those corner meetings now. The wife will not come and catch you. Nothing is even happening. But what you, it doesn't even speak well of your brand. It doesn't. The fourth point is to kill envy. The first one, like I said, nobody's husband is your dear. The second one, stop touching um, people inappropriately. The third one is to be careful of meetups. Then this fourth one, kill envy. I know that you're single and some of these are brides have coins coin. And in your mind, you want to maybe be like a he. Hey, he now that is trending on Just Lover, that she's telling the other, this her new boyfriend's ex-wife that she doesn't deserve him. You don't deserve him. If he was still married to you, I would have snatched him. You know, some people always feel 
like um because you are more i don't know how you want to rate yourself you're more deserving of this guy than the person you chose to marry why would you even do that kill whatever envy or jealousy you have in your heart because for this planner to have done this it is a it, it takes a certain level of witchcraft this one now she be her own village people village people had no hand in this one she is the she is the village in fact she's the women leader in the village <laughs> There are certain things that we have seen in this industry. Like I was just telling you people about that one about the father. Hmm. It has happened though. You people were here when makeup artist was killed. Because um, um, one girl said she is sleeping with her boyfriend. Connive with her, da, um, her brother and killed this girl. Somebody told me they are working freely in Enugu. Because they are, they are, um, people are powerful. They have released them. They killed an innocent makeup artist. You makeup artist, hairstylist, and the rest. Be very careful. I know that there are certain lines or certain things that you cannot. How would I even put it? There's no way for you to know. Especially when you're doing home service. Make sure that people know where you're going to. Make sure that you at least, if you can find somebody to go with, try not to go alone. And when you're there, if you can afford it, Seth, tell somebody to be calling you every so so minutes. Have a cab guy that knows where he dropped you for security's sake. Please, I know that it's it's not it's not set in stone. It's not even professional enough for me to tell you to work on vibes. But by the time you sense that somebody is jealous, and now I'm talking to the clients, can you try? I know it's going to be hard. Can you can you remove yourself from certain situations? Can you try that? Because I'm trying to understand. I know that you're so just happy go lucky. If you sense it, I'm telling you, I'm not saying that you're going to sense it. I'm only saying that if at all you do, try to remove yourself from such um, situations. Because, hmm, don't, go and, don't go and die because somebody is jealous of you. The other time, his um, best friend that poisoned the bride. And like a lot of you observe, it is most likely that best friend that told the bride that is her husband. The girl went to um, accuse her husband. Now, Kasala, they found out his best friend. You don't have husband you don't have best friend now this a planner like do you know how do you know how how strange even as vendors it now becomes a situation whereby of course i'm aware that there are certain how would i put it certain jealousy and envy in the industry concerning maybe this person is jealous of this person or this person but i've not heard of <laughs> planner jealous of bride like ha, it takes a lot i only know of those that Maybe you know that the bride, the husband that she's um, getting married to has rich friends. Then you now see them wanting to overdo in terms of the way they dress, in terms of the way they show up, wanting to be very excessive with their, with their virtues. <laughs> because I don't know, I don't knock them off because I mean, game is game. Find your husband, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. But I'm just saying that. Those are just the ones I recognize. I don't, I've never seen a situation whereby a planner. So this is like an isolated case. But um, in any case that you have any feeling like this, I'm not saying that you should go and suspect everybody. First of all, I know I'm, I'm, I know I'm deviating. But if you, if you're of the opinion that a married man or married woman shouldn't have any female friend or any male friend, as the case may be, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I was going to do a video about it, but I said, you know what? That is just, that's a video that is not, I don't know. I just feel a type of way about it. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you think a married woman should have a single friend as a guy, like a friend? Or do you think a married man should have a single friend, like as in a lady? What do you think? What are your thoughts? Because now, for those of you that are patient and got to this point, you know, say Jane and Tonto Mata don't they raid. Do you understand? Uh -huh. And the Kasala is busting left, right, and center. So I, I, I grabbed a couple of comments that made mention of that. And just let me know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts. So now back to the story. Guys, what do you think about this whole thing? I mean, when the person wrote that tweet, I think she has taken it down because he, he, um, according to her, like they were settling it or whatever. I hope it's not even fic um, fiction. This now brings me to another thing. Please, eh? try to be very careful of where you eat where you drink who you laugh with recently it trended on an um, insta blog where um a guy stood up to ease himself and somebody that was in the restaurant saw his friends poison him if you have a brother please please beg them beg them do you know that when this guy came back i wanted to drink the drink 
the other guy that saw him came and hit the glass down and the guy that they were saving was actually beating him up he joined his friends quote unquote friends to beat him up i know that you want you like to be outside you like to i know that people want to jump up and say thank god i don't have friends but see everybody needs somebody but please don't have the wrong people in your corner envy is a disease envy you see you see jealousy hey god it's wicked though it's bad see the people that can tell you with their chest that this is how they feel about you they might be annoying but it's better for you at least you know do you get not the one that will be shining teeth with you at the end of the day they're killing you that is like anytime i hear stories like this i'm like this is just pure envy this is just pure envy pure envy please i'm begging you vendors not just planners vendors in general especially when you're single because i've done it i've done a wedding where i went to see the i see the bride's mother i think i went to see her that day i was just coming out i was i was feeling good with myself i looked good and initially those periods them i don't know where i kept my wedding ring that day but throughout the first meeting, she seemed a bit uneasy, you know? I was just pimp, 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 pimp. I mean, I'm the short nicker, easy wave kind of person. But on this day, I dressed. I was looking good. I think I was coming from somewhere. And I kept talking and talking and talking. And I noticed that she wasn't really responding. And then she now turned to me and asked, okay, so are you married? I said, yes. Oh, yeah, I've been married for like four years at the time. I was like, oh, really? I said, yes, I have a son. And ah, it just, that was when we became friends. And I don't blame her. I just feel like for me, I like to make excuses for people. I feel like she didn't feel comfortable having like somebody that is a, is a how would I put it? A single person planning her daughter's wedding because I was meeting with the groom, meeting with her. She didn't feel comfortable. And that now made me consciously teach my students. That when you're going for meetings, I beg you, even if you're single, carry yourself with such decorum. Don't give, don't present yourself like, and it's in my heart. You want to now dress like angel and say, no, I'm a kind person in my heart. That's not how this job is. So, uh -huh. so that you don't lose referrals. These are all um, old men and women that you might be reacting, um, relating with. So we cannot beat them for their own thoughts, you know. They are trying to save their daughters. They have seen things in this life. So when, when she felt more comfortable with the fact that I said, Oh, I'm married. Ah, sorry. I don't know. I think I rushed off today. I forgot my ring. This is my husband. This is my baby. Oh, oh really? So cute. So fine. I say, hey, thank God. Mama, don't rest. Let it not be that she's feeling like, hmm, this one, you brought this planner. If you're a planner and you have ever felt people give you that look simply because you were single, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Or not just planner, a vendor. And then you went for the meeting and you felt even when a client is booking you and then maybe she is over the phone and she gets to see you or she comes to meet you with her husband i know that some people have verbally said that oh so so person came on with her husband and the way the guy was relating with them you know single even if you put them at bay there are some guys that relate in such a way that maybe the wife is not comfortable with it like he was just gisting and the vendor was so you know when upbeat people find themselves that like that's how that girl lost the job because the wife did not feel comfortable with the fact that the husband was relating more than he should not that he's not he was doing anything wrong he just was freer with the lady was like oh you like this all oh, right now you like this you know so sometimes you know you might not blame blame the client it's because of things like this so let me know if you've had that experience before and guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section would you want if you're getting married would you want to be careful if the person you're getting married to is more with a vendor would you suspect anything because we're in the industry and sometimes i i know the pains um young people that are single go through i know that some of them oh boy they don't even know it in boundary b that's why me i drag them normally uh -huh. but i'm only saying this part like what do you think you understand let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what do you think about drawing the line in terms of what the planner should do the access sometimes i know that with um time difference it can get very hard but as planners we should know how to be professional hmm? i don't see any reason why you go and hold somebody's husband jesus is lord <laughs> hey or more things they happen no things they happen 
somebody is getting married now maybe the husband will now make some comments like oh the wife is not understanding with him about this about that and you'll be like oh it's true she's supposed to be understanding she's supposed to know your needs hey hey then John Russell hey Rono hey then those of you in the other side of the spectrum that feel that you've made so much money you've been insulting people's husband better stop that thing better stop it i did a video about what um, vendors do that i hate and this one was one of them i didn't say because if i continue to talk that video no go end uh -huh. better stop it it's not um it's one thing to flirt with um somebody's husband it's another thing to downright insult the person whether or not you senior the guy is sir you, let's see sir it's not dear it's not the you know this it's just it, it rubs me off the wrong way let me know if i'm getting old or is the right thing hey guys so let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as usual i remain your girl acid darling please check out my other videos and i'll see you in my next one bye guys